This video is a demonstration of my unique project looking at analog RF power amplifier characterization and their response and limitations within the communication system using the National Instruments USRP platform with LabVIEW. Let's take a look at the hardware I've used in my system. As you can see, there are two National Instruments USRPs used as the basis of the digital communications link. Connected in between these is a Cardiff built 10 watt RF power amplifier. It is this power amplifier we're using as our device under test and we want to see it, the effect it has on our communication system. Before there, as it's 10 watt, we require a driver amplifier stage and some attenuation afterwards as well. You can also see there's a MIDAC that's used to measure the DC input power to the amplifier so we can take a basic measure of efficiency. Now let's take a look at the software I've used in my system. This is an application built in LabVIEW. Firstly, you're presented with this launcher window. In here, you can customize your hardware parameters, choosing the device addresses, your acquisition parameters, and modulation scheme for your communications link. Finally, you can select the DAC device used to measure the DC input power to the amplifier. From here, we can either load some data we've already acquired, or go ahead and launch the application. Let's begin by forming a fundamental power characterization of our amplifier. We set the driver stage and the attenuation before choosing over which range of values to excite our amplifier. What's clear to see is there's a linear range for a range of compression once the input power reaches about 25 dBm. It is once the instantaneous input power reaches into this range of compression we expect to see some waveform distortion. Let's exercise the amplifier across this characteristic. Starting with the low power, we can see we are transmitting our 4 quam signal as we specified in the launcher. We can perform some spectral measurements and some basic statistical measurements of the wave as well. If we read efficiency, at these low power levels the amplifier is pretty inefficient. As we increase our input power, first we note that spectrally not much happens, our adjacent channel power ratios stay roughly constant. However, if we look at the efficiency of the amplifier, this has now increased somewhat. Finally, let's increase the input power to push the amplifier into this compression region. The first thing we notice is that significant spectral regrowth occurs and our adjacent channel power ratios drop. If we read the efficiency of our power amplifier, it has now greatly improved, however. Furthermore, using the system, we will be able to see how other system parameters can affect system performance. For example, using a 4 quam system such as this produces a much better power efficiency than a 16 quam system like this. Even though it's 16 quam, we should be able to have a better data rate in the same bandwidth. To summarise, I have built a system to hopefully bridge the gap between the digital and analogue worlds of RF communications. Using the system, a student will be able to practically explore the trade-offs the RF engineer has to make when designing a communication system and understand the importance of how certain system characteristics can affect performance. Thank you for watching.